My name is Heinz Kondert. I'm president of uh, SEMI Europe. SEMI is the worldwide association for equipment, material and uh, service provider to the semiconductor and the photovoltaic industry. Our main goal is to support the industry towards uh, profitable growth. You know, the semiconductor industry today is a key technology for innovation altogether. It affects our whole life from telecommunication to the automotive uh, to our daily, uh, daily uh, electrical appliances, whatever you use, uh, it's semiconductor driven. Uh, Europe has leading uh, industries such as the automotive, uh, we are strong in telecommunication, in medical and all these uh, uh, future oriented uh, um, industries are based on semiconductor technology. Or we can also say that uh, there's no innovation without semiconductor technology. Now when we move this enabling technology out of Europe uh, also means that uh, sooner or later the competence and the R&D is moving out of Europe. And then we are missing a very important link to remain competitive uh, in all the industrial sectors of Europe and uh, this we have to avoid. Uh, manufacturing and R&D always belongs together, you cannot uh, separate them and we've seen that in several other fields such as the flat panel industry that originated in Europe and has totally been moved uh, uh, to, to, to Asia. So leadership is a big issue. First of all we have a big market, I mean uh, uh, Europe counts for more than 30% of GDP in the world so that's critical size, that's critical mass. Uh, secondly, we have an excellent R&D landscape, we have uh, first-class uh, R&D institutes, we have the best universities and of course we also have uh, excellent uh, uh, companies uh, in the field of uh, semiconductor manufacturing. And, uh, companies, there are few big companies in the world um, who are the pacemakers of, of, the, of the technology in terms of equipment and materials, maybe services. Uh, among them clearly ASML, which is the lead in photolithography. Uh, we have some others. Um, but we should not forget that there are a lot of small companies uh, uh, being uh, uh, contributors to, the, to this industry, which have no famous names, but are really innovative. Yeah, but we can say that more than 90% of our members are SMEs. Yeah, that's maybe also a little bit a weakness. Of course, each country uh, believes that uh, uh, they can solve the problems by themselves. Uh, I wouldn't say that there's protectionism, but uh, it's going a little bit in that direction that each, uh, let's say, developed or, or high-tech developed country feels that they are eligible to do it by themselves. No? Uh, however, the semiconductor industry is uh, such a big industry and such a capital-intensive industry that to my opinion a country by itself cannot uh, finance, cannot uh, support this industry anymore. Uh, and the competition actually is not uh, inside Europe from country to country, it's from, from region to region. So our competition is in the US and in, uh, in Asia. And when I say that, that does not mean that we are not uh, you know, cooperating and trading with these countries, but uh, we need to have our part in manufacturing and this should be European based, so we should, we should talk about the pan-European industry policy here and not a regional policy. You know, the, the problem today is, uh, is not the manufacturing cost. We always say uh, Europe is too expensive in manufacturing, but actually that's not uh, true. Uh, in some areas, in low-cost manufacturing, yes, it's true. But the semiconductor industry, as we know, is capital intensive, it's not labor intensive. So uh, it, uh, um, when, when, you, when you do the comparison between manufacturing costs in Europe and and China, for instance, or Asia in general, it has been done several times. Um, it shows clearly that uh, uh, we can be competitive uh, in, in Europe. The problem is that uh, these countries, uh, uh, when I talk about mainly about Asia, but also in the US, uh, grant uh, uh, significant incentives, much more incentives uh, than, than our countries in, in Europe can receive. And that uh, automatically means, of course, that uh, you run, you run into red numbers because you do not have the same subsidies in, the Europe, in Europe as you have in, in other regions. So, so it's, a, it's a kind of unfair competition.